The Elder Futhark, also called Elder Fuark, Older Futhark, Old Futhark or Germanic Futhark is the oldest form of the runic alphabets. It was a writing system used by Germanic tribes for northwest Germanic dialects in the migration period. Its inscriptions are found on artifacts including jewelry, amulets, tools, weapons, and runestones from the 2nd to the 8th centuries. In Scandinavia, from the late 8th century, the script was simplified to the younger Futhark, and the Anglo-Saxons and Frisians extended the Futhark, which eventually became the Anglo-Saxon Futhark. Unlike the Anglo-Saxon Futhark and the younger Futharks, which remained in use during the Early and the High Middle Ages respectively, knowledge of how to read the Elder Futhark was forgotten until 1865, when it was deciphered by Norwegian scholar Sophus Bug. Description Topic. The Elder Futhark, named after the initial phoneme of the first six rune names, F, U, A, R and K, has 24 runes, often arranged in three groups of eight runes called an eight place. Eightier. In the following table, each rune is given with its common transliteration. Corresponds to theta. I is also transliterated as A and may have been either a diphthong or a vowel near or A. Z was Proto-Germanic Z, and evolved into Proto-Norse R, and is also transliterated as The remaining transliterations correspond to the IPA symbol of their approximate value. The earliest known sequential listing of the alphabet dates to 400 and is found on the Kylver Stone in Gotland. Two instances of another early inscription were found on the two Vadstina and Mariedam Bracteats 6th century, showing the division in three its, with the positions of I, P and O, D inverted compared to the Kylver stone. Fu, Arkgw, Hnijipzs, Tbeml, Odthe Grumpan Bracteat presents a listing from 500 which is identical to the one found on the previous Bracteats but incomplete. Fu, Arkgw, H N I J I P Z T B E M L O D Topic Origins Topic Topic Derivation from Italic alphabets Topic the Elder Futhark runes are commonly believed to originate in the Old Italic scripts, either a North Italic variant Etruscan or Raic alphabets, or the Latin alphabet itself. Derivation from the Greek alphabet via Gothic contact to Byzantine Greek culture was a popular theory in the 19th century, but has been ruled out since the dating of the Vimos inscriptions to the 2nd century while the Goths had been in contact with Greek culture only from the early 3rd century. Conversely, the Greek-derived 4th-century Gothic alphabet does have two letters derived from runes, from Jer J and from Yeruz U. The angular shapes of the runes, presumably an adaptation to the incision in wood or metal, are not a Germanic innovation, but a property that is shared with other early alphabets, including the Old Italic ones compare, for example, the Duino's inscription. The 1st century BC Negau helmet inscription features a Germanic name, Haragastes, in a North Etruscan alphabet, and may be a testimony of the earliest contact of Germanic speakers with alphabetic writing. Similarly, the Meldorf inscription of 50 may qualify as proto-runic use of the Latin alphabet by Germanic speakers. The Raic alphabet of Balzano, in particular, seems to fit the letter shapes well. The spearhead of Koval, dated to 200 AD, sometimes advanced as evidence of a peculiar Gothic variant of the runic alphabet, bears an inscription tilarids that may in fact be in an old italic rather than a runic alphabet, running right to left with AT and AD closer to the Latin or Etruscan than to the Balzano or runic alphabets. Perhaps an eclectic Approach can yield the best results for the explanation of the origin of the runes. Most shapes of the letters can be accounted for when deriving them from several distinct North Italic writing systems. The P rune has a parallel in the Kamenic alphabet, while it has been argued that D derives from the shape of the letter san equals s in Lepontic, where it seems to represent the sound d. The G, A, F, I, T, M, and L runes show no variation, and are generally accepted as identical to the Old Italic or Latin letters X, A, F, I. T, M and L, respectively. There is also wide agreement that the U, R, K, H, S, B and O runes respectively correspond directly to V, R, C, H, S, B and O. 
The runes of uncertain derivation may either be original innovations, or adoptions of otherwise unneeded Latin letters. Odenstedt 1990, p. 163 suggests that all 22 Latin letters of the classical Latin alphabet first century, ignoring marginalized K were adopted, from D, Z from Y, from Q, W from P, J from G, I from Z, with two runes P and D left over as original Germanic innovations, but there are conflicting scholarly opinions regarding the E from E, N from N, D, or Raic theta, W, Q or P, I and Z both from either Z or Latin Y, Q, and D runes, of the 24 runes in the classical Futhark row attested from 400 Kylver stone, I, P and, are unattested in the earliest inscriptions of ca. 175 to 400, while E in this early period mostly takes a pi shape, its M shape gaining prevalence only from the 5th century. Similarly, the S rune may have either three or four strokes and more rarely five or more, and only from the 5th century does the variant with three strokes become prevalent. Note that the mature runes of the 6th to 8th centuries tend to have only three directions of strokes, the vertical and two diagonal directions. Early inscriptions also show horizontal strokes, these appear in the case of E mentioned above, but also in T, L, and H. Topic. Date and purpose of invention Topic. The general agreement dates the creation of the first runic alphabet to roughly the 1st century. Early estimates include the 1st century BC, and late estimates push the date into the 2nd century. The question is one of estimating the findless period separating the script's creation from the Vimos finds of ca. 160. If either I or Z indeed derive from Latin Y or Z, as suggested by Odenstedt, the 1st century BC is ruled out, because these letters were only introduced into the Latin alphabet during the reign of Augustus. Other scholars are content to assume a finless period of a few decades, pushing the date into the early 2nd century. Peterson and with him Odenstedt suggests a period of development of about a century to account for their assumed derivation of the shapes of and J from Latin D and G. The invention of the script has been ascribed to a single person or a group of people who had come into contact with Roman culture, maybe as mercenaries in the Roman army, or as merchants. The script was clearly designed for epigraphic purposes, but opinions differ in stressing either magical, practical or simply playful graffiti aspects. Bakestead 1952, p. 134 concludes that in its earliest stage, the runic script was an artificial, playful, not really needed imitation of the Roman script." Much like the Germanic Bracteats were directly influenced by Roman currency, a view that is accepted by Odenstedt 1990, p. 171 in the light of the very primitive nature of the earliest 2nd to 4th century inscription corpus. <laughs> Rune names each rune most probably had a name, chosen to represent the sound of the rune itself. The Old English names of all 24 runes of the Elder Futhark, along with five names of runes unique to the Anglo-Saxon runes, are preserved in the Old English rune poem, compiled in the 8th or 9th century. These names are in good agreement with medieval Scandinavian records of the names of the 16 younger Futhark runes, and to some extent also with those of the letters of the Gothic alphabet recorded by Alcuin in the 9th century. Therefore, it is assumed that the names go back to the Elder Futhark period, at least to the 5th century. There is no positive evidence that the full row of 24 runes had been completed before the end of the 4th century, but it is likely that at least some runes had their name before that time. This concerns primarily the runes used magically, especially the Tewas and Ansas runes which are taken to symbolize or invoke deities in sequences such as that on the Lindholm amulet 3rd or 4th century. Reconstructed names in common Germanic can easily be given for most runes. Exceptions are the rune, which is given different names in Anglo-Saxon, Gothic and Scandinavian traditions and the Z rune, whose original name is unknown, and preserved only in corrupted form from Old English tradition. The 24 Elder Futhark runes are The rune names stood for their rune because of the first phoneme in the name the principle of acrophony, with the exception of inguas and algas, the Proto-Germanic Z sound of the algas rune, never occurred in a word initial position. The phoneme acquired an R-like quality in Proto-Norse, usually transliterated with and finally merged with R in Icelandic, rendering the rune superfluous as a letter. 
Similarly, the ing sound of the ingwa's rune does not occur word initially. The names come from the vocabulary of daily life and mythology, some trivial, some beneficent and some inauspicious. Mythology, Tawaz, Thurasaz, Ingwas, God, Man, Sun. Nature and Environment, Sun, Day, Year, Hail, Ice, Lake, Water, Birch, Yew, Pear, Elk, Aurochs, Ear of Grain. Daily Life and Human Condition, Man, Wealth, Cattle, Horse, Estate, Inheritance, Slag, Protection from Evil, Ride, Journey, Year, Harvest, Gift, Joy, Need, Ulcer, Illness. Inscription corpus Topic. Old Futhark inscriptions were found on artifacts scattered between the Carpathians and Lapland, with the highest concentration in Denmark. They are usually short inscriptions on jewelry bracteets, fibulae, belt buckles, utensils combs, spinning whorls or weapons lance tips, sea axes, and were mostly found in graves or bogs. Topic. Scandinavian inscriptions Topic. Words frequently appearing in inscriptions on bracteets with possibly magical significance are alu, lau and laukas. While their meaning is unclear, alu has been associated with ale, intoxicating drink, in a context of ritual drinking, and laukas with leek, garlic, in a context of fertility and growth. An example of a longer early inscription is on a 4th century axe handle found in Nidham, Jutland, Wagagastes, Alu, Hagusikias, Iolatas, Wagagastes, Wave Guest, could be a personal name, the rest has been read as Alu, Wihu Sikias, Iolatas with a putative meaning, Wave, Flame Guest, from a bog, Alu, I, Oath Sayer Consecrate, Fight. The obscurity even of amended readings is typical for runic inscriptions that go beyond simple personal names. A term frequently found in early inscriptions is arillas, apparently describing a person with knowledge of runes. The oldest known runic inscription dates to 160 and is found on the Vimos comb discovered in the bog of Vimos, Funan. The inscription reads Harja, either a personal name or an epithet, viz. Proto-Germanic asterisk Harjas pi asterisk Koryos, warrior, or simply the word for comb, asterisk Koryas. Another early inscription is found on the Thorsberg Chap 200, probably containing the theonym ULLR. The typically Scandinavian runestones begin to show the transition to younger Futhark from the 6th century, with transitional examples like the Bjorkatorp or Stentofen stones. In the early 9th century, both the older and the younger Futhark were known and used, which is shown on the rock runestone where the runemaster used both. The longest known inscription in the Elder Futhark, and one of the youngest, consists of some 200 characters and is found on the early 8th century Eggjum stone, and may even contain a stanza of Old Norse poetry. The Caster by Norwich Astragalus reading Ryan, Deer, is notable as the oldest inscription of the British Isles, dating to 400, the very end of Roman Britain and just predating the modifications leading to the Anglo Saxon Futhark. Continental inscriptions Topic. The oldest inscriptions before 500 found on the continent are divided into two groups, the area of the North Sea coast and northern Germany including parts of the Netherlands associated with the Saxons and Frisians on one hand part of the North Germanic coin and loosely scattered finds from along the Oder to southeastern Poland, as far as the Carpathian Mountains e.g. the Ring of Petrasa in Romania, associated with East Germanic tribes. The latter group disappears during the 5th century, the time of contact of the Goths with the Roman Empire and their conversion to Christianity. In this early period, there is no specifically West Germanic runic tradition. This changes from the early 6th century, and for about one century 520 to 620, an Alemannic, runic province, emerges, with examples on fibulae, weapon parts and belt buckles. As in the East Germanic case, use of runes subsides with Christianization, in the case of the Alemanni in the course of the 7th century. Topic. Distribution Topic. There are some 350 known Elder Futhark inscriptions with a total of approximately 81 known inscriptions from the south Germany, Austria, Switzerland and 267 from Scandinavia. 
The precise numbers are debatable because of some suspected forgeries, and some disputed inscriptions identification as runes versus accidental scratches, simple ornaments or Latin letters. 133 Scandinavian inscriptions are on bracteates compared to two from the south, and 65 are on runestones no southern example is extant. Southern inscriptions are predominantly on fibulae 43, compared to 15 in Scandinavia. The Scandinavian runestones belong to the later period of the Elder Futhark, and initiate the boom of medieval younger Futhark stones with some 6,000 surviving examples. Elder Futhark inscriptions were rare, with very few active literati, in relation to the total population, at any time, so that knowledge of the runes was probably an actual secret throughout the migration period. Of 366 lances excavated at Illerup, only two bore inscriptions. A similar ratio is estimated for Alemannia, with an estimated 170 excavated graves to every inscription found. Estimates of the total number of inscriptions produced are based on the minimal runological estimate of 40,000 10 individuals making 10 inscriptions per year for four centuries. The actual number was probably considerably higher. The 80 known southern inscriptions are from some 100,000 known graves. With an estimated total of 50 million graves based on population density estimates, some 80,000 inscriptions would have been produced in total in the Merovingian South alone and maybe close to 400,000 in total, so that of the order of 0.1% of the corpus has come down to us, and Fisher 2004, p. 281 estimates a population of several hundred active literati throughout the period, with as many as 1,600 during the Alemannic runic boom of the 6th century. Topic. List of inscriptions Topic. After Luihenga 1997, Luthi 2004. Scandinavia Period I 150 to 550. Vimos inscriptions 6 objects, 160 to 300. Over Stabu Spearhead CA, 180, Rania's Illerup inscriptions 9 objects, Mos Spearhead C 300 G A O I S Golden Horns of Galahus C A 400 Einang Stone 400 Kylver Stone 400 Ro Rune Stone 400 to 450 Calabi Rune Stone 5th century Mojbro Rune Stone 400 to 550 Jarsberg Rune Stone 500 to 550 Hagenvik Rune Stone 5th century Bracteets, total 133. See also Alu. Sealand EC 500. Vadstina Bracteet. Jerko Bracteet. Period 2 550 to 700. Skong Runestone, 6th century. Björkatorp Runestone. Gumarp Runestone. Istabi Runestone. Stentofen Runestone. Southeastern Europe 200 to 550 4 AD. Gothic runic inscriptions 200 to 350 Continental inscriptions mainly Germany 200 to 700 50 legible 15 illegible 39 brooches 11 weapon parts 4 fittings and belt buckles 3 strap ends 8 other Thorsberg chap 200 Bulic fibula Charnay fibula Nordendorf fibula P Forzen buckle English and Frisian 300 to 744 see Futhor topic unicode topic the elder futhark is encoded in unicode within the unified runic range 16a016ff among the freely available true type fonts that include this range are junicode and freemono the Kylver stone row encoded in Unicode reads Encoded separately is the Continental double barred H rune. A graphical variant of the Ing rune is also encoded separately. These two have separate code points because they become independent letters in the Anglo Saxon Futhark. The numerous other graphical variants of Elder Futhark runes are considered glyph variants and not given Unicode code points. Similarly, bindrunes are considered ligatures and not given Unicode code points. The only bindrune that can arguably be rendered as a single Unicode glyph is the I. Bindrun or lantern rune, 
as the character intended as the Anglo-Saxon Geirun. Topic. See also. Topic. Rune poem. Runic script. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Bakestead, A. 1952. Mauerner og Traldriner, Copenhagen. Elliot, Ralph Warren Victor. 1980. Runes: An Introduction. Manchester University Press. ISBN 0-7190-0787-9. Fisher, Svante. 2004. Alemannia and the North. Early Runic Contexts Apart 400 to 800. In Naumann, Hans Peter, Lanter, Franziska, et al., Alemannian und der Norden, Berlin, Walter de Gruyter, pp. 266-317, ISBN 3-11-017891-5 Ilkair, Jorgen 1996. Skrifter fra Mosefund i Danmark, Kontext og Oprindels. Frisian Runes and Neighboring Traditions, Rodopi. Louis Henga, Jantina Helena 1997, Runes Around the North Sea and on the Continent AD 150-700 Dissertation, Groningen University. Louis Henga, Tinnicky 2004, Texts and Contexts of the Oldest Runic Inscriptions, Leiden, Brill, ISBN 90-04-12396-2. Von Ruild und Harizo, Alemannisch und Alter Skandinavisch Runenkultur im Vergleich. In Naumann, Hans Peter, Lanter, Franziska, et al., Alemannian und der Norden, Berlin, Walter de Gruyter, pp. 318-39, ISBN 3-11-017891-5. Martin, Max. 2004. Continental Germanische Runeninschriften und Alemannisch Runenprovinz. In Naumann, Hans Peter, Lanter, Franziska, et al., Alemannian und der Norden, Berlin, Walter de Gruyter, pp. 165-212, ISBN 3-11-017891-5. Novak, Sean 2003, Schrift auf den Goldbrachtiten der Volkerwanderungszeit PDF Dis, Göttingen. Odenstedt, Bengt On the Origin and Early History of the Runic Script, Typology and Graphic Variation in the Older Futhark, Uppsala, ISBN 918535220-9. Page, Raymond Ian 2005, Runes, The British Museum Press, ISBN 0-7141-8065-3. Ricks, Helmut 1997. Germanisch Runen und Venetische Phonetik. In Berkman, et al., Vergleichen Germanisch Philologie und Skandinavistik, Festschrift für Ottmar Werner, Tübingen, pp. 231-48, ISBN 3-484-73031-5. Robinson, Oren W. 2004, Old English and its Closest Relatives, A Survey of the Earliest Germanic Languages, Routledge, ISBN 0-415-08169-6. Lepontisch Studien, Lexikon Leponticum und die Funktion von San im Lepontischen. In Stuber, Karen, et al., Acton de 5. Deutsch Sprechigen Keltologen Symposiums. Zurich, 7, 10. September 2009, Wien, pp. 361 76. Westergaard, Kai Eric, 1981, Schriften og Symboler, Noen Studier over Tenformer i det Eldre Runalphabet, Osloer Beatridge zur Germanistik in Norwegian, 6, Oslo, Germanistisches Institut der Universität Oslo, ISBN 978-82-90389-02-9. External links Runnen Project Inscription Database at the University of Kiel Hammerstrom, Harold, Forkel, Robert, Haspelmuth, Martin, eds. 2017. Older Runic. Glottolog 3.0. Jena, Germany, Max Planck Institute for the Science of Human History. Ancient Scripts, Futhark Omniglot.com, Elder Futhark Rune Converter hosted by Viking Rune.